these were the documents. Uh, just a, an example. These are from the the op openly available Prado database mm -hmm. of some documents from from countries like Iraq and uh, Saudi Arabia and Egypt, which are common uh, common examples of documents in the Middle East where you have a mixture of Latin and Arabic. But of course, you can see on these documents, the majority of the key info is in Arabic. So we need to be able to, to, uh, to read this, read this accurately. And I guess, Jano, that, that dealing with Arabic is not the same as dealing with Latin. Can you maybe explain to us some of the specific challenges around Latin, uh, Arabic script that comes uh, with, with training OCR, which is not present with Latin or other types of scripts? Yes, of course. Okay, so a little bit of theory first. So the typical way how uh, you do optical character recognition is first you find bounding boxes or the boxes around the different symbols, and then you detect uh, which letter is inside uh, each symbol. So this is the typical way how OCR is uh, typically done. However, it completely fails with Arabic. The reason is very simple. In Arabic, Arabic script uh, looks a little bit more like a handwritten uh, text and you don't really see where the symbol starts and where it ends. So, and here you see an Arabic word uh, group and uh, so this is one way how you, will how you will see it in the real life. But sometimes instead of uh, writing those three letters, one can write just uh, so-called a ligature so it replaces those three letters. And uh, again, it's like a new symbol mm -hmm. uh, that you have, you need to be able to recognize and you need to be able to understand that these are three symbols and return it as, as three separate symbols. Mm -hmm. 